Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner. Today we're whipping up a quick and easy prepper pantry meal of corned beef and cabbage. Alright, so this is a super simple, easy recipe that you can use from all pantry items. I'm going to use a little bit of butter today because I have some in the fridge, but you can use oil or whatever you like if you have ghee or canned butter, whatever it is you have. So, and then we're going to start with a little bit of dehydrated onions and some dehydrated carrots, some dehydrated cabbage, some corned beef black pepper, some baked beans, and a delicious yummy brown bread. All right, to get started, this is really easy. We're just gonna use a pan with a couple cups of water, and we're gonna add in about a quarter cup of our freeze-dried onions. I really like this kind of oniony, but you can use a little bit less if you don't like as much onions, but I like a lot in there. Then we're going to add some of our dehydrated carrots. These are so yummy. I'm going to put about half a cup of the dehydrated carrots in there and that way it just gives it a little bit more flavor and these are delicious in corned beef and cabbage. Then we're going to add about two cups of our dehydrated cabbage. I've dehydrated this cabbage myself um, we usually keep a couple of jars, a bunch of jars of this, because it's super good in soups and things like that. It's kind of a pain to get out of the jar, but it's absolutely delicious, and it's great with corned beef. Got to have it with corned beef. So then we're going to take this and we're going to get it on the stove and bring it up to a boil. While our cabbage and vegetables are coming up to a boil so we can rehydrate them, I'm going to get this can of corned beef opened up. And you just want to remove the key and flip it over. It's usually not in the right position. It's kind of difficult to do it the other way. So I just like to flip it over and then you just wind it up and go all the way around the can. This is super easy to do. If you can't get the key to work, it can be opened with a can opener. That might be easier to just skip the whole key thing, but I just use it because it's there. And it's, you know, that little nostalgia thing. It's kind of fun. You pop the top off and you're ready to get your corned beef out. So once you get your corned beef open, it's, a, it's kind of stuck in there, the suction. So I'm just going to use a church key to get this open so we can get it out of the can and get it ready to cook. So just poking a hole in it kind of releases that suction and then it falls right out. Simple and easy. So then we're gonna, just going to slice this up and get it ready. I like it in cubes for this meal. So I cut it into slices and then cube it up and then it's ready to toss right in the pan. So once the veggies have come up to a boil, I'm just making sure that they haven't run out of water and there's still quite a bit in the bottom, but they've absorbed a lot. So we're just going to turn these off and we're going to let them sit for a few minutes in the hot water so they can absorb any more that they need and make sure they're ready to go. And we are going to get our pan heated up and get started on that. All right, so while our veggies are soaking, we're just going to add a couple tablespoons of butter to our frying pan, and we're going to get this heated up. I'm going to put it on a medium high to get started, just to get it nice and warm. And once this is nice and hot, we'll come back to it. Now we're going to throw our beans into a small pan and just put them on a medium low and let them heat up. So once our butter is all melted and our pan is nice and hot, we can go ahead and throw our veggies in there. They're all drained out and we're just adding them right into the butter and we're gonna start heating these up and getting them all nice and toasty. So 
we're just going to give them a quick stir and then we're going to add in our corned beef. So once we have our corned beef all added in, we're going to give this another quick stir and just make sure that everything is all mixed together. And we're going to let this cook for a couple of minutes on its own um, just to start getting it all heated up. So after a couple minutes, we're going to give this another stir. We're going to turn this down a little bit to a medium heat and we're going to toss a cover on here and let this cook for a few more minutes. We just want to make sure everything is nice and hot all together. All right, so while our dinner is heating up and cooking through, we're going to open up this can of brown bread. My mom used to buy this when I was a kid and we just love this. It's so delicious. It's easy to use and it's really quick and easy and it's got a nice thick molasses flavor to it. You can um, cook this a bunch of different ways. I like to slice it up and toss it in the toaster and put a little bit of butter on it. Mmm. So we're going to get started by opening the top and the bottom of the can. You got to open both ends or you're not going to be able to get your bread out. So we've opened the top and the bottom of the can and we want to remove it from just one end. You want to remove the lid and then we're going to use that other part to push the bread out of the can just so you don't smash the other end all up. It kind of makes it easier and then you can just wiggle it right out and remove that other lid and you're ready to go. You can wrap this up in aluminum foil and throw it in the oven and heat it all together at once or you can take this and slice it up. You can fry it with some butter or I like to just slice it up and throw it in the toaster and then put a nice pat of butter on top and Mmm, I love it. All melty. Okay, so once you have this heated up and browned to your liking, it's mine's lightly brown, not too much, but it's nice and steamy hot. So I'm going to turn this off and just keep it hot while I finish up my bread. So that is it. This is quick and simple to throw together. You can do this in about 15 minutes total for everything and it is really easy to do and it's just delicious. The brown bread has, oh it's been around for a long time. When I was a kid my mom used to buy this and I just loved it with melty butter on top. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. It's really great fried also. You can like fry it in butter like an English muffin grilled. It's super good. And this is so tasty. You can see there's plenty of corned beef, lots of cabbage, some carrots. You can add salt and pepper to this when you're cooking, but I find that the corned beef is just too salty, so I don't add any extra salt to it. And I put a little pepper on top while I'm eating. And that's it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.